Ever since they nerfed Hammer Titans, I've been looking for an alternative that could somewhat make it up there as one of the best builds. This build that I'm going to go through will adapt Hammer Titans characteristics with a different playstyle. Before we go into the specific, let me explain the core of this build. Essentially, you should be able to cycle all your abilities in under 5 seconds, and utilize different sources of damage buff and debuff to get the highest amount of burst damage with a reasonable survivability for harder tier content. And what's better than utilizing the 1-2 punch perk? Let's start with the subclass. I'm running the new Titan Void 3.0, with the aspects being Offensive Bulwark, which increases the damage of my melee by 100% and increases grenade regeneration while having an overshield, which is perfect when being paired with the Bastion aspect, which allows your barricade to give you overshield. For my melee, I'm going to be running the Shield Bash, since it does deal more damage than the Shield Throw, and it suppresses target on hit, which will be helpful later on. You can run whatever grenade you'd like, but I prefer the Vortex Grenade because it can pull enemies. As for the fragments, since I want my ability to be up 90% of the time, I'm going to be running Echo of Provision, which grant melee energy when damaging an enemy using my grenade, which does pair really well with the Vortex Grenade or any other damage over time grenades since you can get your melee back by simply dealing damage over time on some beefy enemies. I'm also running Echo of Exchange, which grants grenade energy whenever I kill an enemy using my melee, which does work outside of my melee ability. This means that by simply getting melee kill, I can get grenade energy. The third fragment is personal preference depending on which one you want to balance out but what I have is echo of undermining which allows my grenade to weaken enemies. In other words, it applies a debuff on the enemies for 15% after they're hit with the grenade. Again, as I said before, I do want this build to have a high ability uptime since unlike the Hammer Titan, you can't infinitely shield bash enemies, that's why my exotic armor of choice is going to be the heart of inmost light. Everything you need to know about this exotic will be shown on screen, however, the important part is that with this exotic, every time you use one of your ability, the other two ability will deal more damage and have a faster cooldown time. In other words, by using both your barricade and grenade ability, it will increase the damage of your melee by 20% not just your melee ability, but also your uncharged melee. For the exotic weapon, I would normally use Tractor Cannon, which automatically defeats the purpose of Echo of Undermining, since with this, you're applying a 30% damage debuff instead of the 15% from your grenade. However, another alternative is Anarchy. As you see in the intro of the video, while dealing massive amount of melee damage, I also have Anarchy to increase the total DPS output since it's also going to get the benefit of Echo of Undermining and Weapons of Light if you choose to have the Ward of Dawn Super. Finally, the most important part of the build, a 1-2 punch shotgun. With this perk, you're able to deal massive amounts of bonus melee damage after hitting all your shotgun pellets. If you guys are wondering how I managed to use Shield Bash after shooting a weapon, that's because if you're sliding when Shield Bash is active, you can still shoot your weapon then immediately activate shield bash before the slide ends. This will apply the bonus melee buff from 1-2 punch towards the shield bash. Last but not least, the armor mods. Mainly, I'm running both Melee Wellmaker and Elemental Ordnance to create elemental wells of my subclass element after killing an enemy with either my grenade or melee ability. Then, I pair them with Bountiful Well, so they will now create two wells instead of one. And if you guys don't already know, elemental wells give energy towards all your abilities if it matches the element of your subclass, meaning doubling the amount of wells will increase the uptime of my abilities. I also have Seeking Wells, so that once I create the element wells, they will track towards me instead of having to run to every individual well to maximize its benefits. Finally, the last mod is going to be Well of Tennessee, which provides a 50% damage resist for 6 seconds after picking up a Void Elemental Well, which is probably the most important one here since you're going to be in a close combat most of the time. I'm also using Energy Vampirism from the Seasonal Artifact, which grants energy to the lowest ability after suppressing enemies, which works nicely with Shield Bash's ability to suppress targets on hit. You can also swap Bountiful Well with Volatile Flow from the Seasonal Artifact and use Funnel Whip for even better ad clear by sacrificing a little bit from your ability regen.
Alright, with all of that out of the way, let's get into how this build actually works. Now, the main part of this build is your melee burst damage output. To gain the maximum damage from the build, you will need to first use your barricade ability. This will give you an overshield which provides a 100% melee damage buff and an increase towards your grenade ability regen. It will also activate the first empowerment for your grenade and melee from Heart of Inmost Light. Then use your grenade to weaken the target by 15%. If you have tractor cannon, it's a 30% debuff instead, so there's no need for the grenade debuff, but throw your grenade regardless to maximize that empowered melee up to times 2 from Inmost Light which provides a 20% melee damage buff. Additionally, you can also use Anarchy and Wither Horde to further increase your DPS output. After all these are set up, sprint towards the enemy then slide before shooting your 1-2 punch shotgun and follow it up with a shield bash. If you're doing it right, you should deal an equivalent amount of around 27 uncharged melees in one hit or 41 uncharged melees against bosses since 1-2 punch grants 4.5x melee increase specifically against bosses. And it doesn't stop there. With this build, you can cycle your abilities every 4-6 to six seconds since you're stacking the fragments that alternates between your melee and grenade energy which stacks with not only Heart of Inmost Light but also the Elemental Well mods. This will allow you to do the melee combo much more frequently. Don't forget that you also have 6 seconds of 50% damage resist every time you pick up a Void Elemental Well for your survivability on top of the Void Overshield generated from your barricade through the Bastion Aspect and Shield Bash itself. Self. Anyways, that's it for the build, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel since we're a hair away from 30,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.